Hey, good morning everyone. How the fuck are you? Um, I'm going to purposely smoke a cigarette in this video so that I look cool. You ready? Oh yeah. They, they say for every cigarette I smoke in a video I gain like two subs. So, welcome to the new guys. Anyway, here's the thing. I wanted to do a video on two topics. One is kind of a response to you, third proverb, about the uh, recent suspension of The Amazing Atheist. The second topic is about YouTube flagging. You touched on this a little bit, I think, on both topics, so... First things first, The Amazing Atheist and his suspension. You say in your video, you know, there's a time where people just get fed up, right? They just get fed up with being insulted, they get fed up with, uh, you know, profanity, and the, the vulgarity, and, and I, you, you say that The Amazing Atheist deserved his suspension, maybe had it coming, maybe this will be a lesson to him. And, you know, I'm thinking about that, and already that shit, but here, here's what I'm thinking. Take a look back at the people that the Amazing Atheist did those type of videos to. Not always, but for the most part. Take people like Venom Fang X, take people like Apologetics, and more recently, Night Vision Phantom. What do those people all have in common? Are you ready? I'm sure you've noticed this before, maybe not you, third, but a lot of people, I'm sure a lot of people notice they, they all volunteer to be fucking stupid. What I mean by that is, it's kind of like I said in my video last night about Night Vision Phantom, this guy has absolutely no interest in the truth. He only has an interest in his religious dogma. That's it. That's as far as it goes. So basically, he's willfully fucking ignorant. He's stupid on purpose. Now my question is, why should you try to have a rational, civilized discussion with a person who is ignorant on purpose? Their only desire on YouTube, their only fucking desire, is to take their willful ignorance and smear it all over fucking YouTube and, and, and cast their fucking line out of stupidity out into the retard ocean and try to hook a few fish. That's all the fuck they want to do. They have no interest in changing their minds, advancing their philosophy, whatever it is. That's not why they're here. They're here to hook in a couple dumbasses who want to share in their stupidity. So I, I see no problem in telling them to go fuck themselves. I see no problem in calling them fucking names like the dumbest YouTuber ever. Because no matter how many graphs and charts and statistics you show these people, they don't care. They're only looking for people sympathetic to their voluntary stupidity to fucking latch on to them, buy their bullshit, and help them smear it all around YouTube. That's why people like Night Vision Phantom are here. Nothing's going to change that fact. So, you know what I say to that? Fuck you. Get hit by a city bus. I hope you choke. Things like that. Because there's no reason in a civilized discussion. Now there are these people on YouTube that sort of share your mentality, uh, a lot of a lot of which are members of this little sub community, the atheist community on YouTube. That go, let's all get along and hold hands and sing songs and have civilized conversation. You can make a video without being insulting. My question is why? Why make a video without insulting people who are willfully and voluntarily fucking stupid? There's no point in it. There is a time and a place to tell somebody to go fuck themselves. And I think we should be able to do that on YouTube, so long as people like Night Vision Phantom are able to smear their fucking rhetoric of, of just voluntary stupidity all over the fucking internet, we should be able to tell them to get fucked. Now, now that I've gotten that off my chest, coffee break. <laughs> You talk about the uh, YouTube Terms of Service, which, yeah, the Terms of Service really aren't that fucking bad around here, for the most part, but these videos that are getting taken down, these accounts that are getting suspended, are not really getting suspended in most cases because the videos violate the Terms of Service. These people are getting their videos flagged and removed because they're pissing off the wrong people. They're pissing off people who plan to flag their videos. Um, Look at the Amazing Atheist channel. It's it, it suspended because enough people were offended by the video. Crazy Caleb. 
he pissed off enough people to get his videos flagged. And, and in my opinion, if you're flagging videos, uh, you're a hypersensitive douchebag. That's what I think of you. I, 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 so I, I've never flagged a fucking video on YouTube. Not once. Stop being hypersensitive little douchebags. Don't watch the video or make a fucking response. Grow some fucking balls. Make a response. State your fucking case. You will be heard. This is what YouTube is for. Not for you to get all ass hurt and go on a flagging campaign. Remember when fucking, like, like when Naomi Knight was false DMCA in videos, Thunderfoot was doing the same shit. I mean, it, this, this says something about who you are as people. You're weak ass fucking cowards that don't have the fucking sack to do what the people that, that you're flagging are on YouTube doing. You don't have the balls to do it, so it's flag, flag, flag. I'm a big fat pussy. That's really all it boils down to. So there's nothing fair about it. For example, why are people like myself, Tommy from the Bronx, Edible Napalm, why are we able to keep our channels, every other word out of our mouth is vulgar, but well, here we are live on YouTube. I'm not saying that we won't be gone one day, but right now, um, we both have, a, we all three, all three of us got pretty good fucking records for how long we've been here. Yet people like Cosmic Zen, Nathan Forrest, people like that, um, Crazy Caleb, are, are all getting flagged down because of a bunch of ass hurt little fucking puss pads. Seriously, cut it the fuck out. If you're taking part in this, you're just an asshole. And there's my opinion on the flagging. But anyway, third proverb to wrap this up. Um, like I said before, there's a time um, to look at somebody and realize that they're not interested in the truth, they're not interested in a civilized discussion, and at that time, it's time for one of these. That's just my opinion. Anyway, you guys have a good fucking afternoon, okay? Peace.